It was just three words Rolling off a whisper I thought what could it hurt So why did it fly in the heat of the night The heat of the moment, the steam and the passion the Jordan Day and brothers Jason and Tom together make up the band Petrick. Jason joins us now. Jason, congratulations on Petrick's newest release, White Lion. Oh, thank you very much. It's been doing very well for us. I think it's a fan favourite already. Appreciate your support on the single. The EP Flashbacks came out earlier this year. Fantastic streaming numbers. What's the feeling like over there with these numbers coming out? It's always great when you get to release music. Uh, But when you get the response that we've had on this record, it's really been extra special. The only thing we're really left to do right now is to get out and perform these songs. Hopefully soon enough we'll get to hear the response from our fans singing these songs back to us. Mm, So the restrictions are still quite heavy over there? It's getting a lot better very quick. So I'm optimistic and hopefully sooner than later we can make some noise. How many songs did you guys have to go through and choose between to get onto the EP and why did White Lion make the cut? Oh, man. You know, we probably listen to between 50 and 100 songs um, every time we do a record. (laughs) You know, to kind of go into a little more depth, we listen to about 50 songs and those are the ones that we feel are strong enough to even listen to. Then we brought about 20 into the studio Mm -hmm. uh, and into rehearsal space and then when our... Flew our producer up from Los Angeles, and I think we had whittled the list down to about 15 songs. And then, you know, he kind of helped us direct, you know, which ones ones he thought were the strongest and made some changes. Uh, And White Lion, for us, was just one of those songs that was so easy for us to do. Everyone in the band, it was like we just looked at each other, and we knew exactly what we were supposed to do. And this song that you hear now is pretty much what it sounded like the first time we tried to play it. Oh, wow. Uh, and when it's personally for me, when, I, when a song happens that naturally, uh, it's meant to be. And I think that's probably the easiest answer to your question. I'm sure many people have found themselves in the same sort of a situation at some time or another. So I guess that's why it's quite popular, because people are relating to it. Yeah, it's you know, definitely one of those love songs where uh, lots of emotion going on. In it. I think everyone in our band is definitely kind of related to that emotion, whether you're on the side of the relationship where your your heart got broken or you're on the side of it where maybe you did the heart breaking and, and you feel a little regretful with doing it. It's a special song to us. I think it's beautifully written. It was written by a national songwriter named Adam Hangbrick. From the first time we heard it, we were absolutely in love with this track. The video, we have to talk about this one because it is emotionally filled. You go through love, there's some anger there, a little bit of sadness and regret. And I don't want to give away the ending, but when you watch this video, there is a twist at the end with the church and it is absolutely brilliant. So has Tom and his fiancée, Danara, are they still uh, living close or have they packed up their bags and moved to Hollywood as actors now? <laughs> I don't think they're moving to Hollywood, but I'll <laughs> let you know if that happens, okay? <laughs> they both did fantastic, and you know, I got to give my brother major props. I think his acting uh, and his role in this song really takes the lyrics and the song to another level. So, uh, major props to my brother on that one. Yeah, 100%. So, if you had a bucket list and you want to zip out there and start doing it, what are some of the things that are on Patrick's bucket list? get out to Australia and play some awesome music. So I think really at the top of our list right now with a bucket list and just, you know, not even just with music, but with life. We've chased this journey around the world. We've been fortunate enough to travel all across Canada and the U.S. and we've traveled into Mexico to play some music. Finding this success in Australia with these new music has been an absolute dream come true. It's been very unfortunate that pandemic's kind of kept us away as long as it has, but it's at the top of our list to get out there and meet everybody and play some music. It has kept you away, but I think with a lot of lockdowns, that it's made a lot of people listen to more music than what they have done before. So maybe it has sort of helped a little bit being so far away and we're learning more about you. And I do have to mention Glenda Deshin. She's a lady here in Australia. She's probably one of Australia's number one country music supporters and if you pop up on her Facebook page people go looking at who she's talking about and it's fantastic that we can get you over here in Australia sooner than later we hope and get to see you guys perform live. I hope so. I hope so. You know, we've had a few people from Australia as well really start to engage with our group and the music. And it's really special. Like, we don't take that for granted. You know, Glenda, she's been very supportive. And we noticed that. And and we 
absolutely love that. It's a dream come true, getting to see your music connect with people in a territory we've never even been in. So I'm telling you, as soon as we get the opportunity to come out, we are going to be there and we are going to throw one heck of a concert. There must be something in the water over in Canada because you guys just keep on bringing us great music, great new bands and everything. So for people that want to learn a little bit more about Patrick and hop on your ride and ride it with you, what's the best way to do that, Jason? I'd probably say go to our website, PetrickMusic.com. Uh, one thing we like to do up there, we got all our music videos blasted right up there. So I'm a huge fan of music videos still, and I think uh, you're definitely going to get to see all that on our website. If you're into Instagram or into Facebook, you can also find all of our links at our website. So PetrickMusic.com is the place to go if you guys want to check it out. Jason, Patrick, thank you for joining us tonight. We will catch up again soon. But in the meantime, let's play this song. And, folks, if you're at home, hop on to their website, get to know who they are, and check out this video because I do tell you there is a little twist at the end. Here is Patrick with White Lion. I couldn't help myself and promise 